Hey everybody, I'm Joe. And I'm Scout. And this is the brand new 375RD. Scout, what are some of the key specs that they're gonna to wanna to know about this floor plan? Yeah, of course. So this floor plan is gonna be coming in at 41 feet, nine inches, and the dry weight is gonna be 13,700 pounds. Nice, all right, do you wanna take our guests inside or outside first? I wanna take them inside. All right, come on guys. All right, now that we're in the interior of the 375RD, what's RD mean? Yeah, it stands for rear den. All right, because you have the ultimate entertainment space back This here. is the full entertainment package in a fifth wheel, truly is. So what's going on back here? I mean, this back yeah. wall is impressive. Yeah, this back wall is something that really hasn't been seen in this industry. So we have a 65 inch residential TV. Underneath that, Joe, we have a residential sound bar. And then we have this cool mantle but it pulls out for additional storage. That's great for the TV remotes, anything extra. Underneath that, we have a full-size fireplace. Um, and what I call these, these are called the, the glide and slide drawers. Glide and slide. So these open up, you have a, plenty of additional storage on this back wall uh, for all of your extra goods when you're camping. I love that. So you got tons of space over here on the side wall, and then you got this absolutely massive TV. So I know where I'm watching the Super Bowl this year. Right in here. That's Let's right. Do it. All right. But not only do you have this great rear wall, you have optimal seating around yeah. it. Why don't we talk about that seating? Yeah, let's go show them. So this L sofa is phenomenal. I mean, you have optimal viewing positions around the whole thing, and then you have a, a sleeper sofa across the way. What's going on with the sofa? What are its what can it do? Yeah, Joe. Um, so plenty of people, you know, are traveling with families, guests, um, and one of the biggest complaints is where do people sit? As uh, so this floor plan encompasses that truly, just in this main living space, especially with that great TV view angle that you mentioned, um, the the seat that you're sitting on actually turns into a full recliner, um, as well as the one next to you. Uh, what I'm sitting on is going to be a full sleeper sofa, so additional sleeping for those guests that are staying over, and then. You mentioned the other sleeper, so sleepers over across from it. And that converts into what? About the size of a full-size bed? Exactly. Nice. Full size bed. And then one of the questions that I know people are going to ask, can you put this in, in the L position when the slides are in? Yes. So that's something that we really want to check that box early on. Um, not having to move the sofa. Uh, it could be pushed in, you know, when that slide is coming in. Um, and not have to move any sort of pieces around. That's very smart and makes it super convenient for the, for the people that choose to buy this RV. Yeah. I love it. All right, where do we want to go next? Let's go to the kitchen space. All right. All right, now that we're in the kitchen, what are some key highlights in the kitchen area? Yeah, so I'd like to point out all the additional countertop space on this side of the kitchen. Um, then you're gonna have plenty of storage underneath that. On this side, uh, you got your residential turkey tested oven, one of our favorites here at Alliance, uh, residential microwave. Um, something unique that we did on this floor plan is we call this the, the drawer max. So you're gonna have additional storage for um, all of your kitchen utensils up top um, with all of the, the storage underneath as well. Um, nice. So really maximizing and what you could put in those drawers. And these drawers seem to be updated, Scout. Yeah. It looks like they're a little bit beefier and this looks like real hardwood. Exactly. So we've updated that uh, here recently at Alliance, all residential drawer boxes, um, something that you know customers were really asking for. Yeah, nice, so that customer driven features. Yeah. Nice, and then here you got your stainless steel sink with stainless your solid steel surface sink. countertop. Yep, solid and then surface. Underneath here, if I'm not mistaken, you built in a trash can. Yes, so we built in a pull out trash trash can, um, not a great place to, uh, to put those trash cans in an RV. Uh, yeah. So we utilize that space underneath the sink. Nice, and that's just huge, because if you guys are Delta fans, you know that there's a hidden trash can in every Delta. Yeah. So now that's coming over here to the exactly. Paradigm line, just making it so much more convenient to camp. Exactly, it's it. gonna be a cohesive alliance feature. I love it. <laughs> and then how big is this refrigerator, Scout? Yeah, so this is a 19 cubic foot Norcold 12 volt refrigerator. Um, so this is running when you're, you're going down the road off of that solar panel, that 320 watt solar panel, and we're using that 40 amp charge controller. Uh, so you just have a lot of flexibility. They're super efficient and it's the largest 12 volt refrigerator on the market. I love that. And then directly next to that, you're gonna find, it seems to be a huge pantry. Yes, yeah. So we have a, a full size pantry. Um, we're using the LED motion lights anytime you open that up, um, adjustable shelves. So you can really kind of change your needs based on 
and what you're putting in that pantry space. And then is there 110 power in there too? There is, yes. Um, so we're putting 110 outlets in there. Um, great for you know the air fryer or a coffee maker, uh, anything that you need power to in that pantry space. Yeah, nice, I love that. And then directly next to that pantry, you got this nice little coffee bar area that with a continuation of the solid surface countertops. Yeah. And again, more storage. Just more storage, uh, you got your solid surface countertops, another coffee bar. Um, you can really kind of create your own, but plenty of countertop space, which you know customers are really asking for. Yeah, so ultimate entertainment space leads to the ultimate kitchen. Ultimate and kitchen. And then there's even more seating in the kitchen. Yes. Why don't we show them where that's at? Okay, let's do it. All right, Scout, so it looks like we're sitting at a four person, free floating dinette, because my yeah. knee's not hitting right now. No as knee knocker. Um, and there's two chairs, where are those at? Yeah, so we store them under the bed uh, mm -hmm. when we're shipping it to the dealerships. Uh, nice. There is gonna be four seats in total. So you'll be able to fit four people here pretty yeah. comfortably. I mean, I'm sitting here very wide leg and spread and, yeah. and I'm super comfortable and I can imagine easily getting another person next to me. 100%. So also what I'm noticing about this area are the windows. Yes. Yeah, so we really did a great job of incorporating a lot of windows throughout this floor plan. You know, we talked about the kitchen, we talked about that living room space, there is full window coverage. Um, it really lightens and opens up the entire unit. Uh, I think that's something that's important. We're also using the atrium style window where you're getting 50% more airflow rather than the tip out windows. Um, so that, that's something that uh, we really want to focus on is lightening up this RV. Nice, I like that a lot. So Scout, why don't we go ahead and take them up to the front of the trailer? Cause I know there's some things that we did different on this Paradise Floor Plan. Yeah, let's go upstairs. All right. So we just showed you guys the kitchen and living room space on this 375RD. Now I wanna show you guys the bathroom. This floor plan has a 61 inch shower with a teak seat. Across from that, you're gonna have a full size medicine cabinet, stainless steel sink, as well as solid surface countertops. And then we're also including a full linen closet for additional storage, then a porcelain toilet with a soft closed toilet lid. How about we go check out that bedroom space? In the bedroom, there's a few things I'd like to highlight. First off is the king size bed. On both sides, you're gonna have USB charging stations as well as outlets. This is great for charging your phone, as well as if you needed to plug in a CPAP. We do have the shelves underneath. That was a customer driven feature that we really listened on our lines. Other things in the bedroom, we have full atrium style windows in here on both sides where you're gonna get full cross ventilation in this bedroom space. Across from us, we have the Insignia Smart TV. We have a full size dresser with hidden storage up top, six drawers underneath, and we open that space up for additional shoe storage. There's no good place to put shoes in a fifth wheel. Next to the dresser, we have incorporated a full size bench, great to put on your shoes and socks in the morning. And that bench also flips up for storage. Now let's go check out the closet. In the closet, we have plenty of hanging space all throughout. Built-in drawers. And then on the left and right-hand side, it is prepped for a stackable washer dryer. So Scout, this is an amazing floor plan. You've got an amazing entertainment space, great kitchen that connects that living space, and that bathroom is awesome. That shower, I have envy for sure. Yeah. Then you got a king-size bed, and then the front closet being able to put a washer dryer up there or fit everything you need. It's, it's just, it's next level in this segment of fifth wheels. Yeah. What are some of the key features that you're gonna find across the board at Paradigm? Yeah, so some of those key features are gonna be three air conditioners standard. Um, that's something that we do on every single Paradigm. Uh, other things are gonna be flush floor slides all throughout. No carpet, not a single thread of carpet in any Alliance RV product. Uh, we're also doing the color coded and number coded wiring, uh, the water shut off valves, just to name a few things. But this floor plan really encompasses a lot. Yes, it does. And so, but the inside's not all this thing is about. There's a yeah. lot going on outside too. Yeah. Why don't we take them outside and start talking about some of those great features? Let's do it. All right, now that on the exterior of this 375 RD, let's talk about the massive pass-through storage you got here. What are some of the things that are going on down here? Yeah, so this is massive pass-through storage. Uh, I think that's due to this being a drop frame chassis. So you're gonna get 35% more storage height just because of the frame we're using for the Paradigm Series. Other things I'd like to note, uh, this is something that we took from our Delta line. We're gonna be using exterior slide and awning controls um, so you can control it inside or out. Uh, other things, we're gonna have full outlets. Um, you're gonna have the coax uh, cable so you can hook up any sort of TV on the outside. Underneath me, we do have the LP Quick Connect to hook up any sort of gas grill. 
Um, then we're doing the water spray port on that door side as well. Nice. So some of those things that you got going on here is you got 70, 35% more height in here. And then you added those three-way switches yeah. similar to the Delta line. And what's great about these is if you are in a tight situation where there's a tree or there's a pole or something, you don't have to be inside yelling out, Hey honey, how close are we? Exactly. You can see it yourself. And then there's some controls on the other side to control your slide outs. Exactly. As well. I, I think that, you know, some of those walkie talkie brands aren't going to be happy with us. Uh, just cause they're playing that game of telephone, right? Yep. So we're making that easier uh, has those exterior controls you really know what's going on and how far you can extend those awning slides all right let's head to the next feature cool all right scout so under the under the front of the coach here there's it looks like there's a lot going on here what is happening yeah so what we did on the 2024 paradigm lineup is we've incorporated three different boxes typically it was just that one box uh, but you gain a lot of extra storage so on the left hand side here it is generator prepped uh, ready to go for a propane generator on your right hand side joe that is going to be your battery box but up top this is something that's super impressive is all the additional storage this is great for the camp chairs um, tools accessories anything you need to put up here uh, this is just in addition to um, then we also have that 40 amp charge controller that we mentioned uh, that is powering that solar panel um, and then we have all of your hydraulic fluids uh, for your jacks and all of your main slides Nice. And then you got your battery disconnects. Right battery here disconnects well. for the solar and for the unit. All right, let's head off to the off camp side and see what's going on over there. Awesome. So Scout, does the 375RD have auto level? It does have auto level feature. Something unique though is where the location is. And we place this where you have direct access to your pit box when unhooking and hooking up that truck, um, rather than putting it in your exterior storage. Uh, so that direct viewing point is something that was important to us. Nice, and it's six point auto level, Six correct? point high auto level, um, I, all hydraulic landing gear. Nice, okay, and then what's behind this door right here? Yeah, so behind this door, um, this is due to our drop frame. We talked about it a little bit earlier just with the, the storage space. When we have that drop frame, we're able to drop the support for your LP tanks. So it does come with standard 30 pound tanks, but the customers who are using a lot of propane through, you know, if they had a generator, um, or the oven or the water heater, all of those take up a lot of propane. They could put a 40 pound LP tank on either side of this coach. All right, so let's keep heading down the off camp side. All right, so this looks a little bit different than the, the camp side of the pass through storage. What's going on here? Yeah, so something that's new that we're incorporating on select floor plans is a split baggage door. Um, so what this gives you access to is if you had all of your water hookups here, um, you don't have to stand underneath that door and take that spot. It's just direct access. Yeah. Um, so that swings open. You have all the, the storage space behind you here. Something new that we've added is going to be electronic gate valves. Uh, so that is going to be on the lookout for that for any new product coming in. Um, instead of having to manually open and close those tanks, it is all done electronically. Nice. And then it looks like you also have the three-way switches over here, yeah. similar to the campsite to control your three slide outs that you got going. That's it. So this is going to control the remaining three slide outs on this coach. Uh, so you're going to have direct access on the back side of it. All right, let's head to the next feature. Perfect. All right. So with that great shower, you got to have a nice big water heater, right? So what's yeah. going on over here? Yeah. So up top, we do have the 12 gallon gas electric water heater runs off the propane or electric, your choice. Underneath here, uh, we are the kings of HVAC. We have those three air conditioners standard, but also in those colder months, uh, we want to have an oversized furnace. So this is a 40,500 BTU furnace. Um, most brands are going to be using a 30K or a 35K furnace. So going above and beyond, you know, when, when Keeping it's Keeping everyone warm. warm and you got that great HVAC system. Exactly. Nice. All right, let's head to the next feature. We'll see you there. All right, so now we're on the rear of the coach here. Scout, what's going on in the rear wall? Yeah, so a few things I'd like to point out. One is our universal backup camera prep. This is prep for any wireless backup camera out there. Really is the choice of the customer. Next is gonna be our two inch accessory hitch. Uh, this is rated for 300 pounds directly on the hitch, 3000 pounds for any towing. Another thing is our full steel ladder. Uh, so this is rated for 300 pounds. Um, you, it's fully walkable roof, so you do have access to, to get up there if you ever needed to do any sort of maintenance. Yeah, and I have to I have to say, being able to touch and feel this ladder, it is sturdy. I don't know it's if you sturdy. guys can hear that, but that is sturdy. <laughs> it feels good getting on this ladder, and I'm a bigger guy, so I feel confident climbing this ladder. All right, let's take them to the next feature, the running gear. Let's do it. First, let's talk about our Super G-rated tires. They're rated for 4,400 pounds of capacity. We're also using V-bracket reinforcements, 4K leaf springs, Dexter 7,000 pound axles, and a CRE 3000 system. 
All right, so that's a lot of great features about the running gear that you're gonna find in this paradigm. But now let's go to the other end. Let's talk about the roof. Yeah. So I know there's a PVC roof up there. And one of the great things about that roof is it has a lifetime warranty, which also makes it, uh, being PVC makes it easily repairable. Yes. So you can find kind of PVC patch kits at almost any big box store, a lot of pool companies carry them as well, and a lot yeah. of campgrounds. Yeah. Yeah, so kind of going off of that PVC roof covering and is an enhanced material. Uh, a lot of commercialized buildings have been using it for years. Um, something that is important is that roof. Yes. Uh, so that longevity of it, having that lifetime warranty. Um, another great feature is that it's 80% more solar reflective. Uh, so in those hot heats, instead of all of that heat coming into your attic space, which in sense is all of your air conditioning, um, it's gonna reflect off and maintain that temperature from inside to outside. Another great thing is it's virtually maintenance free. Yeah. Uh, so you just want to check your seals, typical RV maintenance, but you don't have to treat the roof like typical, you know, TPO, TPO or, roof, yeah, yeah. or rubber roofs yeah. on the market. Yeah. So what else is going on, on the roof up there? So there's three ACs. Anything else that's cool up there? Yeah, so we talked about it a little bit before, but it's that solar panel. So every single paradigm is coming with that 320 watt roof mounted solar panel. Uh, great for charging those batteries when going down the road. And, and Alliance does offer a super solar package, right? Yes. So we can beef that up a little bit if that's something you're interested in. Exactly, yes. So that would be for an ordered unit. You know, if a customer is interested in having the ability to go off the grid for a longer period of time, that would be three solar panels, three lithium batteries, a 3000 watt inverter, yeah. uh, but that would increase that, that boondocking experience. All right, so that's a lot of great features, but while we're standing right here, why don't we talk about how this thing is built? Yes, so behind the walls, that's what you're speaking to, Joe. We're using all Asdel composite material. Instead of using the typical Luan wood, usually found in fifth wheels, um, this composite material is great because it doesn't absorb any sort of moisture or water. I've heard too many complaints of delamination, rotting and molding in sidewalls. The stuff you can't see is the stuff that's super important to us at Alliance. Um, the Asdel is actually two times the insulation value. Uh, it's a lot quieter for the inside of the RV. It doesn't absorb any sort of moisture. Yeah. Um, so we not only use it on the exterior of our lamination, but the interior as well. Yeah. So two full layers of Asdel, no Luan wood in any of our sidewalls. And then each, and then inside the wall is actually aluminum, right? So Correct. it's aluminum construction. It's aluminum frame construction uh, with that Asdel composite material laminated to the fiberglass on the outside. Nice, that sounds like a superior product and it's a great feature for you guys out there because you're not gonna have any rot, mold, or delamination issues, which has previously been an, uh, an issue with models in the past yes. from other competitors. Yes, and we really took that you know, initial feedback from customers, things that they've been through, you know, those pain points. Um, we wanted to fix it the first time you know, when we're building and constructing the paradigm. Love that, all right. Why don't we wrap this thing up and head to the front of the unit? Let's do it. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this tour of the new Paradigm 375 RD. Joe, this floor plan encompasses a lot. You have that full rear entertainment wall, that massive kitchen, uh, the full size shower, king size bed, washer dryer prep. If you guys have any questions um, or comments, feel free to come directly to our website to get in contact with us, AllianceRV.com. Where can they find us, Alan's show? Yeah, so you can find us on any social media platform if you just search at Alliance RV. You can see a more dynamic range of videos and photos that we offer there, as well as additional floor plans that we offer here at Alliance. So with that, Scout, I think that's it. I think that's it. Signing off. We'll catch you next time. Take care, everybody. You need me to hold your lanyard for you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all new Paradigm 375. I forgot to introduce ourselves. That's Joe. Hey everybody, I'm Joe and this is... <laughs> I, I can't introduce myself these days. <laughs> Scout, what are some of the key specs they need to know about this floor plan? Yeah, so this floor plan is coming I said out. RD. It is RD. I thought it was RE. Nope, it's RD. All right, so this is a great place. If you're in the doghouse, you can sleep down here. It fits about a twin mattress. I mean, <laughs> it is put, heated, Joe, so don't, don't get in trouble. <laughs> don't set me down there. But, <laughs> hey, I'm a good boy. <laughs> we're having fun. All right. All right, now that we're on the out tier, you're out tier here. Is that out a dog? <laughs> I, I think that, you know, some of those walkie talkie brands aren't going to be happy with us um, just because they're playing that game of telephone, right? Let me redo that part real quick. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 We're gonna go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. With that, I think that's. I think that's it. To go. Yeah, we can sign <laughs> off. <laughs> um, All right. Now that we're in the interior of the 375RD, which means rear den. Rear den. The seat that you're sitting on actually turns into a full recliner, um, mm -hmm. as well as the one next to you. All right, now that we're in the kitchen area of the 375RD, what do we all got? What do we all? <laughs> First, I'd like to point off, point off, point out. Uh, what I'm sitting on is gonna be a full sleeper sofa. So you're definitely probably what? Definitely probably, that's a lot of words. Yeah. <laughs> so you're definitely wowed by. So across from the bread. <laughs> the bread. <laughs> Who's got that one? <laughs> Across from the bread, we got loaf one, loaf two. All right, three, two, one. All right, so this floor plan's amazing. I was gonna say skate. <laughs> I skate. always call you skate. guys skate. <laughs>